Hi everyone, my name is Mark Levine, and I play the Baroque violin. Here's what it sounds like. So the Baroque violin is a kind of violin, and the violin is part of the string family. Other instruments include the viola, the cello, and the bass. But I play a Baroque violin, and that's what this is. And it's a little different from the normal, modern violin that we know now. Now the Baroque violin was used 400 years ago, and in fact, maybe even a little more than that. Uh, all the way until 250 years ago, at least. So it's a model of a violin that's old and different from what we use now. And this is a very newly made one, but the model is the same as the very old instrument. And what makes it different from a normal violin are a few things. One is that you can see the neck of the violin is shorter and thicker than a normal violin neck. fingerboard where you put your fingers down on is shorter than a modern violin. There's no chin rest. So when I hold the violin, I can't really hold it very well with my head. And if I let go with my hand here, the violin would fall. So I always have to hold on to the violin with my hand. And then finally, the biggest difference on the violin is that the strings are made from the gut of a sheep or a cow, which is kind of gross, but I try not to think about it, and they sound very warm and rich. The bottom string here you can maybe see as metal, but on the inside it's gut, so it's got gut with metal wrapped around it. So that's the Baroque violin. There's also the Baroque bow, and maybe you can see that the Baroque bow is also different from a modern bow. The biggest differences are that the curve of the bow is like a rainbow, it goes up, rather than a modern bow where the curve goes down like a smile. And then the tip of the Baroque bow goes down to a tip like this, a pointed tip, rather than a more box-shaped tip on the modern bow. So here's a quick sound comparison between the Baroque violin and the modern violin, now that you've seen them. So that's a Baroque violin. Here's the modern violin. separately, a piece by a composer named Georg Philipp Telmann, which really is just George Philipp Telmann. And he wrote a bunch of pieces for the violin alone, and this is the last part of the last piece from the set of those pieces. They're called Fantasias, or Fantasias. I hope you like it. <laughs> 